From the National Weather Service in Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina. Covers the period today through Sunday, the 15th of March. So March 8th through 15th. Currently, we have clear skies, plenty of sunshine, temperatures climbing through the 50s. So it uh, looks like that's going to be the case for some time to come. There we are zoomed in and the Across the Carolinas, you can see those readings in the fifth, lower 50s. Uh, places that are still in the upper 40s will get out of the upper 40s and into the 50s here shortly. Okay, as I zoom out, you can see lots of clear skies across the east. So thanks to high pressure. So we're going to have some nice weather for a couple days. All right. As we look at the uh, weather pattern, you can see uh, the big H under the today and midweek. Uh, tiles covering the southeast U.S., and that's what's giving us the nice weather. As that high moves off the coast, which it should this, this evening, that'll get us into a uh, what we call the return flow on the back side of the high, which is from the south, and anytime the wind's from the south, it warms up. So um, we're looking at dry weather continuing through this work week, through Friday at least, actually probably through the weekend too, mostly dry. But anyway, uh, we're pretty certain it'll be dry right through the end of this, uh, through Friday. There will be a gradual warming trend. We'll see 70s before long for highs. Looks like the next chance for rain won't be until this weekend associated with a cold front. And you can see that in the lower right panel there. I will point out there are some weather models that show that front not making it that far south. And if some of those slower uh, models with the front delayed, if those verify, we could end up with a warm, very warm, and dry weekend. So right now, it doesn't look like we're going to get all that rain, all that much rain from it anyway. So uh, so anyway, all in all, just a really spectacular week, quite frankly. In fact, this is really good weather for Wednesday's statewide tornado drill that will take place at 9.30 in the morning. Don't forget, this is North Carolina's Severe Weather Preparedness Week. And you know what? With a week of dry, beautiful weather, why not take this time now when the weather's nice to plan for the severe weather season so that when severe weather strikes, you'll know what to do. Um, this is a good day uh, all this week, quite frankly, to just take a look around your property and see if there's any leaning or dead trees, maybe clear out some of those dead or half-leaning trees that could potentially fall over when severe weather strikes. That's just one example of things that you can do for severe weather preparedness week. The other thing you can do is during the statewide tornado drill on Wednesday at 930, take a break from what you're doing and then look around your home, look around your business, your school, and look and identify the place that you would go if a tornado warning was issued for your area. And then just practice. Practice doing that, you know, get all your employees to go there um, and take a break and, and just, you know, practice that severe weather drill. All right. And, and if you're at home, look around your home, see where you would go if a tornado warning was issued. That's a great thing to do during the statewide tornado drill at 930 on Wednesday. OK, so anyway, looking at how much rainfall we're going to have the next few days, Tuesday, Wednesday, well, today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday look dry. All right, and then you'll see a light shade of green there painted across the Carolinas there this weekend. If it even rains at all, if it does rain, it should be pretty light, less than a quarter inch. And that'll be basically how much we get in the seven days uh, total. So really a much needed week of dry weather. All right, no flash flood risk, no thunderstorms the next couple of days. And as we look at the eight to 14 day outlook, courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center, you can see below normal temperatures are favored and above normal precip is favored. Um, my thoughts about that is, you know, um, what's the high temperature, uh, normal high temperature this time of year? And definitely in the uh, mid to upper 50s. So if a cold front blows through here, you know, if that front this weekend does push through here, you know, that could maybe account for what we're seeing here below normal temperatures early next week. But you know, uh, I wouldn't put to a whole lot of stock in there because if that front doesn't get through here, uh, then the eight to 14 day outlook may actually not be below normal. <laughs> so so anyway, um, uh, so that that's the way I see this uh, perhaps uh, playing out. So 
Anyway, this just gives you a rough idea of what to expect uh, when we get, you know, past uh, past seven days, which is far, which is as far as our official forecast goes. Okay. All right. So that pretty much wraps up today's weekly briefing for this Monday for Central North Carolina. Uh, real quiet, real low impact weather. I have nothing there on the hazard and impact side. Um, should be very low impact weather. Dry, gradual warming chan uh, trend. And uh, next chance for rain will be this weekend if we get any rain at all. Um, it looks like a better chance for rain, I will point out, early next week. Okay, so if that front doesn't get through here this weekend, then I think it'll finally make a push through here early next week. So like basically seven, eight days from now. Okay, and that, that may in fact be our next best chance for rain. All right, don't forget that uh, 930 on Wednesday will be our statewide tornado drill. Uh, that's going to be um, distributed via the emergency alert system. Uh, monthly pest product, okay, the RMT as we call it. All right, we're not going to do a weekly radio test on NOAA weather radio. Uh, instead, we're going to do the monthly test, and that will be the vehicle, if you will, for us to announce that the tornado drill is underway. Okay, so uh, most of the newer NOAA weather radios do alert for the RMT. Some of the older Midland, like the Midland 100s, um, do not. So if you have one of those older Midland NOAA weather radios, uh, your, your radio is not going to sound an alarm. The amber light, light will turn on, that yellow amberish colored light will glow, um, and you'll see the words RMT scroll across. But if you want to actually hear a sound, you'll have to turn it on maybe a few minutes before 930. If you bought your NOAA weather radio, say in the last 10 years, it should sound for the RMT, okay? Um, so again, um, in addition to that, be sure to check out our Severe Weather uh, Preparedness Week website. I have it listed there on the top. And uh, basically, we've got all kinds of neat uh, information, uh, suggestions, and tips for how to plan your severe weather, um, plan for severe weather. We have uh, links to places where you could go get templates if you want to, and I highly encourage everybody to have a written version of their severe weather preparedness plan. It's great to kind of visualize it where you're going to seek shelter, but it's another thing to have it written down. Take it to that next step and have it all written down so you could share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your staff, uh, folks at the school, whatever the case may be. All right. That's uh, Severe Weather Preparedness Week 2021 for North Carolina. Definitely help us out and, uh, and, and partake in, in this week's activities with us. All right. So, again, on behalf of the National Weather Service in Raleigh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. 